What's up guys? Following on the heels of that massive sound ending project, we are going to take it a step further and replace the front door seals and add a door seal between these two doors. So uh, there is a TSB from Toyota that is basically this lip of the door seal flapping against the A pillar and the frame and uh, in crosswinds and it makes this little buzzing noise. Uh, so I figured since we already did the whole truck soundproofing wise, let's go ahead and get these uh, replacement door seals. And that's pretty much just popping out, doing a little taping and um, that's, you know, remove and replace type of deal. This is actually a third gen Tacoma seal and I'll put the part numbers on the screen for both. Uh, this is going to be a driver and passenger, it's just different part number. SB seals will also be linked on the bottom. Uh, but basically, this is just has a strip of double-sided tape and uh, you open up the door, prep this lip on the back door really good, and you stick it on. It's got a curve right here for this body line and a curve right here for this body line. Fortunately, the body lines are exactly the same on second gen, third gen, even though that the doors are relatively different. So that's a plus. Um, I was going to order two sets of these and throw one on the back but the problem with that is it doesn't have that same lip so you would have to cut it on the top and make it work uh, which i might end up doing eventually but for now we're going to skip the back and we'll just focus on the front since this is just an easy prep and install okay as with any other project when you're doing anything with double-sided tape you prep it by wiping it down with uh, alcohol. I use 99% isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber. So I already did that off camera. Um, now this is, so this is gonna be the passenger side and this will be the driver side. And you can tell, we'll get this popped open. You can tell which one's the driver side because the top will go over this lip right here and then rest against the door. So you have this seal, the bigger seal, resting against the door. Oh. Yeah, it looks like we had some of this tape coming off already, so it was getting stuck, but we'll do this again. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take this guy off right here, and we'll lay this down and stick it and then we'll pull this they got little pull tabs so we'll pull that and just it's going to be the bottom sticking onto the door so just follow it down and it should all line up And it is just as simple as that. Just take your time, get it butted up against this right side of the wall and then stick it down because the sticky part is on this flat side that's facing right towards you. And this seal is perfectly made for these curves and it looks beautiful. So let's close the door and see what it looks like. Okay, so jumping over to the passenger side, you can see this door does not have any seal between it. No second gen did. Uh, obviously Toyota realized that there was some turbulence right here and you could hear the wind noise in the cab and they made that seal for the second gen. So jumping back over, we'll take a look at the seal installed and you can see the difference. So you don't even see the white paint because the seal is in there taking up all the space. And if I open the door, 
Look at how perfect this is. Nice and clean. It's got cutouts to let water run down if need be. Follows that curve perfectly. These will settle in uh, once the heat um, gets them nice and soft again. But look at that one. That one's perfect all the way down. And a member did go to the dealer and verify that third gens do have this excess as well. Uh, there's really nowhere else to put this seal because of the indents. So this is just, uh, I don't know if it's Toyota taking, you know, a short route or easy way out, but it could have been longer. Either way, we've got this thing installed in less than a minute. All right, so this one's gonna be a little harder to get on camera, but um, if you look at the new seal, there's a little, like a 1 8 inch tube that starts right here where my finger's at, runs all the way up till about like right here or so. And basically that's just like a reinforcement to prevent this little flap of the factory seal from hitting the a or the uh, frame and the a pillar so that's really all it is from i could tell uh, that's different between the two but similar to that seal we just put on it's going to be um, some tape that we have to clean and prep the door for you see all that red that's the tape and if you look these are all clips so we got to pop them off the door uh, pop that clip out and then um, we'll need to take that 10 millimeter nut off or the bolt off so we can get the get the gasket around that and onto this and put it back on. Just be sure that you do that really quick because you don't want the door to open too much and hit the fender. You'll want to use a plastic panel popper to remove the clips. Um, if you have a metal one, just tape it up. The paint is really soft and will scratch. Other than that, lifting up the taped seal part is very easy. With that off, let's see where we're at here. So basically, these are all where the clips go in. Uh, there's a few that broke, no big deal. We'll get those out right now. Uh, but the top is where it starts getting taped on. So we need to make sure all of that tape is removed. Uh, the rest of these clips that were stuck in there get taken out. And then um, there is blue Loctite on that bolt, so I made sure to take it apart by hand, no impact guns. And I put the bolt back in uh, just until we get everything clean. And then I'll put the uh, seal over it and tighten it down, and then we'll get to applying the seal. So I prepped the door frame off camera, but we just took off all that double-sided tape, cleaned the whole frame with a microfiber and isopropyl alcohol, and dropped the seal right into place. Just like that, we've got the new seal all installed. The top part is the only one that has the double-sided tape. Um, if you saw me getting up on top, I was just making sure that it was actually butted up against the frame. For whatever reason, some of the clips are, the holes on the frame are actually kind of far. And so there was a little gap. So I just pulled it up and restuck it back on just so it had a nice cleaner look. And then uh, from here down, these are just going to pop in. There's no double-sided tape all the way around. We'll get the door closed. Oh yeah, you could tell that seal's brand new. It takes some effort to close it. The other seals were flattened out already, so I could just throw it closed and it was fine. But um, let me see if I can get the light on and, and look at the uh, actual update on this seal. All right, guys, I am double handing this, but you see that little tube right in the middle of the screen? That is the actual fix of the TSB, and you can follow it all the way up. If you look at your seals and you have that, these are the upgraded seals already. If you don't, then uh, you're gonna have the stock ones with no tube, and you can see it right there, no tube all the way down. So I'll post the part numbers in the description below. That way they're documented for everyone to check out. And if we take a look with the door closed, you can see the tube right there, and it's going all the way up and over. So that is the updated TSB seal. If you don't have that tube looking deal right there, it will just be the little flap, which um, is going to make noise on crosswind conditions. Uh, that's really the only time I ever experienced it, but I wanted to go ahead and just get it all swapped out uh, while we ended up doing the whole sound ending project. So this is just the icing on the cake for that project. This was not a hard job to do. If I had to put it on a difficulty scale, I would say two, just because some of the clips were a little bit of a pain to get off on the door seal that goes around the perimeter. Uh, but installing that seal between the front and rear doors, that was a one, almost a zero. I mean, it takes no effort. Just make sure that you clean it with uh, alcohol or some sort of degreaser. Otherwise it will not stick. 
Uh, same goes for this portion of the seal that takes tape. Other than that, everything else pops in, do the other side, call it a day, and enjoy less wind noise.